What will be the ending of the gospel of God? Let's go to Isaiah chapter 14. In verse 24 it says, The Lord Almighty has sworn, Surely as I have planned, so it will what be? And as I have purposed, so it will what? Stand as it is. God said, This gospel will be preached in Samaria and to the ends of the earth. He also said, It is already written that repentance for the forgiveness of sins will be preached to all nations. If we think that this is impossible, we cannot say that we believe in God. In God's sight, the earth is insignificant. It is like dust on the scales. Let us go to verse 26. This is, whose plan is it? It is God's plan. God made the plan determined for the whole world. This is the hand stretched out over all nations. For the Lord Almighty has purposed, and who can thwart Him? His hand is stretched out, and who can turn it back? First, we need faith, so that the glory of God can be shown throughout the world. There is nothing we can do other than plant the seed and water it. God is making it grow, allowing it to sprout, have branches and bear fruit. Paul deeply realized this fact later and said, So neither he who plants nor he who waters is anything. Paul realized that he had done nothing. Who accomplished all these things? It is only God. We are the souls who sinned in heaven and were expelled to the earth. And God has given us the opportunity to repent. He told us to preach the good news, the gospel of the kingdom of heaven, to all the people of the world and return to heaven. That in order for us to return to the kingdom of heaven, we must preach the gospel everywhere without missing any. To preach to all people is evidence that we have repented and can be forgiven of all of our past sins. God said, Preach the word, be prepared in season and out of season. When we preach the gospel of the kingdom of heaven that God has allowed us, God has granted us the joy of having a seed sprout, become a tree, and bear fruits. Please believe that this gospel will surely grow wherever you plant it. We will surely bear gracious and beautiful fruits when we preach the gospel with faith and without hesitation. Let's go and preach. God gave me an errand to preach today, so this is something you must listen to. Hoping that all the Zion family members will be able to do this work, I would like to conclude this sermon. Thank you very much.